Good evening. Welcome back. Tonight, we will be talking about Nikola Tesla and Count Dracula, Vlad the Impaler, and what they have to do with the metaphysical and the modern vampire. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come and point the way. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. What did Tesla have to do with the spiritual, the metaphysical? Westinghouse and Tesla worked together to create an alternating current that we still use to this day. The tale of Nikola Tesla. If you're not already familiar with it, it was a tragic story of a man whose visions for world peace and free electricity never came to fruition because of the pragmatism, ruthless competition of others. You can go online and find the clip of Edison electrocuting a live elephant to death as part of his smear campaign against Tesla's alternating current. Looking through Tesla's inventions, contributions, and predictions, I stumbled across something. Tesla invented the first remotely controlled vehicle, a small boat, and said it would end the loss of human lives in warfare. Sound familiar? All of Tesla's work was for the benefit of the public. His ultimate goal was world peace and unlimited free energy. However, these ideas were not practical, and he soon lost funding from J.P. Morgan. Yes, that J.P. Morgan. Tesla's inventions laid a groundwork for such modern inventions as electric cars, Wi-Fi, sonar, and military drones. Tesla's eccentricity prevented him from having relationships. He had germophobia as well as kytophobia, the fear of hair. He was also revolted by pearls, maybe because of where they came from. One thing that I did want to talk about in this next episode is uh, what I feel like my motivations are for doing this. I know I... I hinted at that in the first video, and I don't think I did a very good job of explaining myself. And I said that uh, operating a YouTube channel would be a job. And that's not, I mean, that's not why I'm motivated to do this. The biggest part of my motivation is that this is going to be a chance for me to give back. Working on YouTube and doing this channel, promoting this esoteric wisdom, is going to do more than I could ever do if I was working some nobody job for nobody pay. Because of the circumstances I was surrounded with a year ago or most of my life, I've never had an opportunity to give back like this before and hopefully in the coming year I'll have my uh, acting career taking off and I know that I've got connections in uh, radio and television that very soon I should be able to bring those to fruition and do something here. But for now, there's a journey, and uh, I'll share that with you as well. My path will take me to places I couldn't have anticipated being in. Sharing that is why I'm doing this. The Order of the Dragon. Secret Society. In magical circles, they would be described as an eclectic, Borrowing from multiple branches of philosophy, what we deem applies, and using that on our path. We believe in the Hindu concept of prana, or life force, as well as some uh, voodoo or necromantic traditions of communing with our undead and giving them life force in return for life force that we ourselves use to obtain immortality. So that basically sums it up. 
So if anyone tells you that they're a vampire and they need your blood, physical blood, then uh, beware and run away as fast as you can. So what you're dealing with is a psycho. I like to compare using physical blood to using crude oil in an internal combustion engine. It's just simply not going to work. The Order of the Dragon was a secret society to protect Christianity against the invading Ottoman Muslims. Or so they said. I actually want to do more research on vampire history and Vlad the Impaler before making this video, but that's more required reading. Not that I mind. I just don't have those books on hand at the moment. Maybe I'll save Vlad the Impaler for another episode. Dragons! So what types of dragons are there? Earth, water, fire, air, the four elements of creation. Each have dragons associated with them. As well as two more. Dragons of light, of the sun, of creative energy. Dragons of darkness, chaos, destruction. Each of these dragons is important. They are young dragons that have to do a internship of sorts to magicians as guardians. So, what is a vampire? Earth, water, wind, and sky. That's not what it is. <laughs> the tale of Nikola Tesla. If you're not already familiar with it, it's a tragic story of a man whose visions of world peace and free energy. That was probably super loud. <sighs> Whereas we take from multiple branches of philosophy, a car with an internal combustion engine by pouring into it crude oil from the ground. It's just not going to work. Well, see, why you gotta ruin everything? I was out of breath. I never talk this much.